Hello, hello, my name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video and today we're going to be talking about the brand new kind of wish system that MiHoYo has introduced in 2.3. Overall 2.3 seems like a pretty cool patch, like it seems like it's going to have plenty of stuff to do, nothing brand new or anything, some new artifact sets to grind for and some interesting new characters that I'm pretty excited for, so I think it'll be in general an okay patch for me to uh, have a good time with and you know do some builds, especially for the channel and uh, maybe catch up on some other characters as well. But what we're going to be discussing primarily in this video is this brand new kind of rerun system where they're going to be doing two reruns at the same time. And this is pretty interesting for a few reasons, uh, mostly because it doesn't really fix the issues of the reruns that we had previously. But we'll get into all of that in this video. But before we do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, especially if you enjoyed this kind of content. We mostly do builds, but I do love doing the occasional discussion. If you appreciate that, then I would appreciate your help on the channel. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, in Genshin Impact 2.3, we're getting a new rerun system, essentially, to where they're going to have two characters rerun at the same time, uh, that being Albedo and Eula. Uh, these characters are getting their second banners, but they're going to be happening at the same time. So if you want them, you can, uh, you know, wish on their separate banners and uh, get the one that you want. Uh, however, these banners are still going to be separate, so you're not necessarily going to be, uh, you know, picking one and shooting for them kind of like the weapon system or anything and these are going to be separate banners that are going to be happening at the same time previously uh we just kind of had reruns like in the lab the you know current patch that we're in right now we had a hotel rerun and a child rerun and they just uh had different characters we got a brand new character in the form of toma who was just on the uh hotel rerun and the problem with the system is that it was getting to a critical point we kept getting brand new characters constantly in the game and at one point or another we wouldn't have enough uh rerun banners to be able to uh you know get these characters within a decent amount of time to where uh the worst case of this it being albedo albedo hasn't had a rerun banner ever he's just had his normal premiere banner that was in genshin impact 1.2 and now we're finally getting a reap run here in 2.3. It's been almost a full year since the Albedo banner has been available, and that is just a long time. A lot of brand new players have been coming to the game since this, uh, you know, since this banner's been over. So a lot of people just literally haven't had the opportunity to get him, and that definitely feels bad. I don't think there's necessarily something wrong with maybe having a character, uh, you know, to yourself for like a couple months. So like you had to be there kind of moment where uh, essentially like, oh, you know, I was here when the Raiden banner was here and I got Raiden. That was sick, you know, and I think it's fine for, you know, Mihoyo not to run that character for like a couple months. And, you know, those players are like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of special. I have that character to myself, but it definitely sucks for one, the people who just didn't get lucky and didn't get Raiden and two, the people that joined after the banner was over and just aren't likely going to have access to this character at all for several months and that definitely feels bad especially when people are like man i can't wait till this character comes around i would love to play them but i just literally haven't had the opportunity to make that happen uh, a character like xiao is also a great example of that where a lot of people are like wow xiao looks sick how can i get him it's like oh that's the fun part you can't and uh, that has been a large problem with the kind of rerun system that we've had so far. And to mitigate that problem, Mahoyo has introduced this dual rerun system. And although the system is okay, this runs into the exact same problem of, you know, hitting a critical point to where we're going to have so many new characters and only so many reruns. So even this system is seemingly temporary. This definitely does help. And this is great for a lot of uh, new and returning players who are like, oh, sick, I can finally get uh, Eula. You know, I wasn't here for that patch or I can finally get Albedo. I, you know, I skipped him on that patch or something. That is great for those players. And I'm glad everybody's going to be able to get access to those characters. But this system still runs into the same problem and is inevitably going to be replaced with something. It's essentially just Mahoyo biding their time. And although I do like this and the potential for them to have different four stars on their individual banners, I I believe is going to be the case. I don't know if they're going to have the same four stars and if they have different four stars, that's pretty cool as well, but is still running into that same problem and is even worse for veteran players who even at a low budget are probably running into several, you know, uh, C6 repetitions 
at this point and uh, if they're like oh you know I, I skipped albedo on this banner but i have all these four stars that's gonna suck for them and this kind of runs into that same critical point i don't know what the exact answer is to uh rerunning some characters i think the answer is probably just adding them to the standard pool and then you know still doing rate ups like this uh i think that might be a good middle ground for a lot of people but at the same time i don't think this is really the answer so yeah generally this system System is cool and I'm glad people are getting access to these characters but it still is going to essentially run into the same problem at one point or another to where people are just gonna be like man I haven't had access to the Raiden Shogun or the capability of potentially having her drop into my wish feed uh, for several months and it's just unfortunate I would like people to have access to things and I'm not necessarily opposed as I said to people having you know exclusive access to this character or something for you know a few months or something uh, just because they were there when it happened but some people don't get lucky or have the funds to get that character so and a lot of people join after so they just don't even literally had ever had the potential to get the character and that kind of sucks for them and I do want to see it at least be a little bit more accessible to people uh, going forward or something uh, and as I said this system is only temporary it is good and is going to help us out for the near future but in the you know long game future this isn't sustainable either so this is definitely going to need to change as well but hey let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh, as i would love to hear those because as i said i just don't think this is necessarily the most sustainable thing uh going forward this is definitely seems like a temporary fix to me and i'm glad everybody's going to be able to get uh you know albedo and eula i absolutely love both of those characters myself and uh likely in the future we're probably going to get like ganyu and Zhao or something at the same uh time you guys i mean that would make a lot of sense we haven't had access to them for a long time so i'm glad people are going to be able to get their hands on them so this is a good temporary fix but it doesn't seem like a permanent fix and i want to know uh, your ideas in the comment section below what you think would be a good fix to a system like this going forward for the longevity of the game or uh, just uh, you know in general what you think about this dual banner system if you think it's good at all or if you just hate it in general i would love to see all of that in the comment section below but yeah i just wanted to give my thoughts for the most part and and uh, kind of hear what you guys have to say in the comments. There's definitely more of a discussion piece, but uh, I do have some more content coming out for you guys later this week. A build video on uh, Amber here. If you couldn't tell, she'd been on the screen a bit. We had a little fun with her on stream this Monday, uh, which you can always catch those streams on Monday, 11 a.m. EDT. We also do an additional stream on the weekends on generally Saturday or Sunday in the morning. So if you want to catch those, then, uh, you know, be sure to keep your eye on the channel. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Blossoms, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.